Hi guys, so I'm just recording today with Tina, who's also doing the diploma. And what we're going to talk about is informed consent. So I want you to watch this video carefully. This is the same procedure. You guys have this document in your um, Slack, I think important file section. Um, our informed consent has been given to you. So I just want you to adhere to it and just watch what I say to her. So this particular consent is for clear aligners. And I'm going to talk to Tina as if she's a new patient about to start treatment and all the different things I want to discuss with her. Okay. So firstly, um, I'm going to start by saying, Tina, I'm so glad you chose us for your aligners. Thank you. So let's start about the process and what's involved. So number one, we're going to be putting some attachments like little small bumps of white resin like material that matches the color of your teeth. Um, and some teeth are going to get it, not all. But as, as described before, aligners cannot do the work without attachments. So we're going to need that, which means they're not fully invisible. There is slight kind of visibility when you wear them. Um, is that okay with you? Yeah, that's yeah? fine. We're also going to need sometimes to put them at the front. If you don't want the front um, option, we can put them at the back, but please remember it increases treatment time and also they're not as effective. So if you really want a good result as fast as possible, best to put them at the front. Okay. And when we share the movie with you, you will know exactly where they are. Your treatment time is about 15 to 18 months as discussed because of the various factors that we encounter. Now, if treatment time increases beyond double, we reserve the right to charge an additional fee, but they should not go beyond double. So we know from a lot of experience having treated patients that 15 to 18 months should be great for your condition to treat it, um, especially if you wear the aligners 18 to 20 hours a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. We, um, definitely recommend dental monitoring. If you didn't do virtual appointments on a weekly basis, I cannot guarantee treatment time or treatment results. So it's very important on a weekly basis that you do it. We have done clinical research that shows us that it makes aligners more predictable. It reduces treatment time. Hence, we definitely want to use it for you. All good with that? Yeah. So um, black triangles, now let me discuss that. We have photographs that we've shown you before of what happens. As we align your teeth, you can get some unsightly black triangles near the gum. They're like dark spaces. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not easy to re completely eliminate them, but we can try to reduce them. To reduce them, we must do that polishing that we talked about. It's called interproximal reduction. It's very mild, it's very gentle, it's within biologic limits, so we don't cause damage to your teeth. Uh, Long-term studies show it's actually pretty uh, reliable, pretty good and safe for you, mm -hmm. okay? So if we don't do that, you could have straight teeth, but actually looks a bit anaesthetic. anesthetic. Mm -hmm. The other option, if you completely want to eliminate them, is veneers after mm -hmm. your treatment, mm -hmm. which you can speak to your dentist about, okay? okay? Um, the interproximal reduction that I just talked about is called IPR or polishing between your teeth. It's required in almost all cases actually. It's very rare not to use it. What that does is just allows us to fit teeth together really nicely and actually long-term studies show that when it's done it increases stability of the results. So I actually like to do it on a regular basis. If your enamel is about a millimeter thick on the side, we're simply removing a percentage of it, which is very, very small. Um, however, as long term studies show you don't get any more risk of decay or gum problems from doing that. OK, and we'll do it gently and gradually. So you never feel like teeth are slim. Mm -hmm. OK, um, also, if you've got any kind of gum condition or recession, you must understand when we move teeth, it can increase. Mm -hmm. And if it increases, a, a graft may be required by a specialist. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm not sure you're a candidate for that yet. Mm -hmm. However, it can always happen, mm -hmm. especially if you're not being careful with your brushing habits um, or certain movements. But you know, for now, and this is where dental monitoring is very important because on a weekly basis, we keep an eye on the amount of gums that are receding and the health of your gums mm -hmm. okay if that happens we will pause the treatment and let you know but it's unusual it's quite rare to have that happen in your case mm -hmm. um, you do not require extractions of teeth which is great but if you did require it as well your treatment time can go longer mm -hmm. 
Now, the most important thing I want you to know about is root shortening. Mm -hmm. So orthodontic treatment doesn't have a lot of risk, but it does have root shortening. Mm -hmm. So 100% every patient that has orthodontic treatment mm -hmm. gets root shortening. Mm -hmm. What that means, if your roots are this long, they just shorten slightly. Mm -hmm. Long-term significance of it is very, very negligible. Mm -hmm. We've also got studies that show even if you lost up to 50% of your root length, mm -hmm. that actually does not cause severe damage to your teeth um, in the long run, especially if the healthy and gum conditions maintained, okay? However, this is very rare. In about a thousand cases, I'll probably see one where we get aggressive uh, root shortening. We will usually pick it up within the year if it happens because we take x-rays on a yearly basis to keep an eye on this. Uh, the first strategy of um, stopping this is to stop treatment or pause treatment. Um, worst scenario, sometimes you may need a root canal treatment on one of your teeth. It is quite rare. It's not something that would stop majority of people getting orthodontic treatment. Um, and because we're not having a long treatment time, so studies show if you're very long in treatment, three years in treatment, getting extractions, um, you're more likely to have root shortening than if you're doing non-extraction, shorter treatment time. So in your case, I think it's, it's almost negligible we're going to get it, okay? Um, however, we'll keep an eye on it, and if something happens, we will deal with it then, okay? And we will take those steps to protect your teeth. Um, if you have any pre-existing condition, for example, if you've ever had chip to your teeth, trauma, any kind of fillings, they might need to be redone during the course of treatment, mm -hmm. or you might need some sort of root canal treatment during orthodontics. Mm -hmm. Generally, we know orthodontics doesn't cause um, the, the, the roots to die. It's more that they've had a few traumatic incidents before. Mm -hmm. So you might have had like a chip to your tooth, then a filling done over and over again, which makes this tooth more likely to die when we start to move the tooth a little bit okay so that is something again we cannot predict mm -hmm. we just keep an eye on it again I don't think you're a candidate for that yet okay you will get some sensitivity so uh, usually the first two or three days of starting treatment your teeth feel a bit hot and cold a little bit more than usual with fixed appliances or braces your pain levels are about nine out of ten for the first two days. Aligners, most people report two out of 10. So you are a bit uncomfortable. You won't get ulcerations, it's very rare, but you'll feel like a little bit of a lisp, but just a little bit of a, um, a speech uh, issue for a few days. For some patients, the speech never ever returns to normal. And in those cases, we say, you know what? Remove your aligners for a few hours when you really have got to talk take them off, no problem. You can remove them four to six hours a day. Your general dental clean and maintenance has to be done by your dentist. We're especially an orthodontist. We do not do that here. All your fillings, everything has to be done by that. We don't guarantee an ideal result because perfection doesn't exist. But I try to get as close as possible to the most ideal result I can get for you given the treatment plan that we choose, mm -hmm. okay? Sometimes you do need bondings or fillings or veneers because um, orthodontics doesn't change the proportion of teeth that much. It simply aligns them really well. Mm -hmm. So if you really want ideal smile that we know from research what it is and you want everything in proportion you often have to get bondings or veneers after treatment. Um, now we do kind of look after you for a while after your treatment's finished. So there's retainer care. We will give you a couple of sets of retainers. We might even put bonded wires for you. And you know, but if we ever give you wires, you must wear a clear tray at night, like your Invisalign tray every night. You must, okay? Um, so far, any questions? No, actually. No? no okay, yeah. very good. So basically, um, you know, with the retainer though, retainer's lifetime. If you think, okay, my orthodontic result's going to be like this forever, it doesn't. You know, our face changes, our muscles change, we sag, we age, teeth move as well. So what you have to do is make sure you maintain it. You can keep buying retainers from us on a yearly basis. We'll give you a few sets to get you started. We'll look after you for a couple of years after that. You know, you just see your general dentist or just come and see us and there'll be a small fee every time you come in. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, between your aligner trays, so you might get 20 aligners today 
And then when you finish those 20, that's not your final number. Please know that that's going to continue on. Your treatment time is what you should remember, not the number of aligners. So every time you come close to the end of your set, we will be bringing you in, doing a scan, taking photographs, um, assessing what needs to be done, and then revising and getting you new aligners. So this is chop change process happens throughout your treatment. Okay, so just know that that's not... A, um, abnormal it's very normal the more revisions you have the better your result i can tell you okay so um, treatment times um, are estimates um, aligner manufacturing times are estimates we know that they come in three or four weeks but we can't always guarantee that um, also, if you do fail to uh, attend your appointment and don't give us 48 hours notice, we reserve the right to charge a cancellation fee as well. Okay, now very last bit that's really important, um, actually two more bits. You may not see me all the time. So I am your treating orthodontist, but I'm not always present. However, I'm seeing you virtually. I am the person responsible for your treatment and I do all the diagnosis and treatment planning behind the scenes. So you will at times see my oral health 